All right, what's going on people? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can swap the values of two variables. Now you may be wondering, why the heck do we need to know this? So swapping variables is actually very common within sorting algorithms. And when we reach the next topic on sorting arrays, we'll need to learn how to do this. So let's begin. I have two variables, X and Y. X contains the letter X, Y contains the letter Y. And let's print these values. I'll use a printf statement. Let's display X. And y. x equals x, y equals y. So how can we swap these? Let's try x equals y and see what happens. Within both x and y, the value is y. What about y equals x? Well then, both variables contain the character x. So what can we do? It seems like we're stuck. What we could do is that we could introduce a third variable. Let's say char and let's name this temp because it's a temporary variable. So we have a third variable to work with as temporary storage for some value. So let's assign temp is equal to x, and then we will assign x equals y, and then lastly, y equals temp. And this should work, let's try it. Yep, x equals y, and y equals x. Now this is a little bit different if you're working with strings. So let's say these are character arrays. And we'll pretend that these are maybe glasses holding some fluid. X contains water, and Y contains maybe lemonade. And let's make temp a character array as well, but we need to declare a size. Let's say 15. Okay, so this isn't gonna work. We're already receiving problems. Expression must be a modifiable L value. So when working with arrays, it's not enough to simply assign values. We could use the string copy function. So let's get rid of these, and we will use string copy. Oh, also make sure that you include this header file. Okay, so we will copy the contents of x over to temp. And it's the same procedure as before. String copy y over to x, and string copy temp over to y. And then make sure you change these format specifiers to strings. X did contain water, now it contains lemonade. Y did contain lemonade, and now it contains water. When swapping variables, I like to imagine my variables as glasses, and they contain some fluid. If we pour the contents of one glass into the other, well then, the contents will be pushed out and overflow. So it would be wise of us to introduce a third glass that's empty, to hold one of these fluids, so then we can pour the contents of one variable into the other. Now, here's one issue that you may run into when using the string copy function. If the length of the second argument is less than the first argument, this can lead to unexpected behavior. I'm going to replace lemonade with soda, and let's see what happens. So X doesn't contain anything, but Y contains water. One solution is that we can make these character arrays the same size. Let's say that they're both 15. And that should solve that issue. So that's something you may need to take into consideration when using the string copy function if you're going to swap strings. So yeah, everybody, that's how to swap the values of two variables. If you would like a copy of this code, I'll post this to the comment section down below. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how we can sort the elements within an array. And well, yeah, that's how to swap the values of two variables in C.